sitting here on the beach on the island of San Cristobal gives you some idea of how untouched the Galapagos feel. But a lot of work goes into trying to keep the islands in as pristine a state as possible. In reality, the islands have been changed a lot by the arrival of humans and the many invasive species that came along for the ride. Today, before you even board the plane, the luggage is screened and searched for seeds, animals, and other material that might pose an ecological risk. Slightly unnervingly, the plane is sprayed down with pesticide just prior to landing. Most travelers opt to cruise on a boat, such as Ica Ventura's Letty, which welcomed us on board with a cocktail and ecology lesson. People used to come, they used to do whatever they want on the islands. Take the giant tortoises and just killing the land iguanas and so on. That's what the people they used to do in the beginning. Each day includes well-organized landings by dinghy on different islands with different things to see. So we're going there in order to try to see them and just uh, you know, mention what's going on there and then we go back in order to land on the beach. Several dozen tour companies are granted licenses in the Galapagos, but their itineraries are strictly regulated and the number of boats that can be in any one place at any one time is also restricted. Well, there's a big boat, the name of that one, Silver Galapagos, with 100 passengers. That's one of the five boats has 100 people. But if you take a look, there's no any other people around because the number of people on each visitor site can be no more than 100. We start San Cristobal, and then Monday used to be Genovesa, Tuesday, uh, North Seymour, and a uh, place in North Face of Santa Cruz, uh, Dragon's Hill, and then Wednesday to the Changi Island Paradina. In a nutshell, the current strategy of limiting tour numbers and access seems to be working with native species on a rebound and a generally clean environment. But with ever increasing pressure for more tourists to come to the islands, the future does remain uncertain.